Glory come yet. Let me know if you got the uh, Jude chapter 1. We must read verse 3. Amen. If you have it, please stand to your feet. And then we can read verse 3 together. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exalt you that ye should honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. May God add a blessing to the hearers, the doers of his word. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Now the book of Jude, it includes the following messages. It's warning us against false teachers. Jude's primary focus was the ethical danger posed by false teachers who, de who denied Christ's lordship by turning Christian freedom and God's grace into lasciviousness. I looked up that word, and it means is a gross form of wickedness that has sexual overtones in many cases. It starts in a sinful heart and manifests in fleshly actions and can lead to a state of being past building. Amen. Now, these false teachers was murmurs, complainers, scopers, who followed their own ungodly desires and natural instincts. Now, we don't want to be labeled as false teachers. All right. Amen. Yeah. So we shouldn't be complaining. We shouldn't be no murmurs. Amen? Amen. Christian behavior is the second message of Jude. Jude letter emphasized the leadership of Christ. Christian freedom is not a hall pass to do whatever one wishes. Christians are to build themselves up in the foundational teaching of the faith, pray, remain faithful to God, and be merciful to others. Amen? Now the gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, is talking about Barnabas and his faith. Why Barnabas sat by the highway begging when he heard that Jesus was on Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth was passing by, he began to cry out, Thy son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and asked, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? Barnabas said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Jesus said to him, Go thy way. Thy faith have made thee whole. We're talking about the faith, the ministry in faith. Amen. The parable of the talent stresses the importance of faithful service during his present absence. See, Jesus had already came, and he don't walk this earth. He done already came to show us how to minister to the people. He done already came to let us know that everybody ain't going to receive us. They didn't receive him. I don't care how much he preached. Somebody still was trying to destroy him. Somebody still didn't receive his word. They know the word, but because who was giving that word? They can't receive it. Working God's cause. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep working the cause. Yeah, yeah. We have to work the cause because he trusted us to minister to deliver his word. Yeah. So long as he didn't entrusted us with his word, we don't need to bury this thing in the ground. Yeah. That meaning we don't need to sit, sit at home on God. Yeah. When we know that the church doors is open, yeah. we done been called as ministers and show up when the doors are open. My God. We're supposed to be ministers. So anytime the doors open, if don't nobody else show up, Come on. ministers should be That's there. It. That's it. That's it. Amen. It don't matter who don't come. You be on your post and ready to deliver God's word. You got to be ready at all times. We got to be ready to say some God. Yeah. This thing is for the people that say that they believe and trust 
Come on. 